Welcome back to another sunny day in South Wales in the middle of winter. Have a look at that. There's a bit of a bit of snow on them there hills. But we are concentrating on this pot, which if you saw my last video, just uh, a day or two ago, we emptied out that pot of lily bulbs. And um, uh, <laughs> if you've seen the video, you will know that we got more than we expected. We got about a hundred or more bulbs out of there, including some really big ones, which we're gonna replant about eight of now into this pot. So why don't you join me when we have a look at uh, what compots we're gonna use and how deep do we plant those bulbs and um, anything else you might want to know about planting up wonderful perfumed oriental lily bulbs in a nice big pot. Right then, here we go. Uh, so we got um, we got some compost, some old compost left in the bottom of that pot. And when I was digging it out, I remembered, um, I could tell from the texture, there's quite a bit of grit. We put some broken stones at the bottom of the pot and then we put gritty compost just above that. That was about 10 years ago when we originally planted this, um, this pot. And that provides kind of drainage, uh, which the plants, the bulbs need, particularly during the wet autumn and winter months when they're not growing so much and uh, they don't want excess water hanging around. So there's well-drained compost at the bottom. And now I'm going to try using some John Innes um, compost. Ooh, ooh, I hear you say, who's John Innes? Well, John Innes is a, is a horticultural kind of um, brand institute here in the UK and um, their compost um, uh, is um, generally the John Innes compost is soil based. So rather than just being, well, in the old days, peat and um, other organic materials, they use um, sterilized loam, soil, really good um, soil. And they mix some other organic materials with that. You've got various types of um, John Innes compost. You can see that I've gone for number three here um, because that's the, um, the, the John Innes compost that is got fertilizers and blends specifically for more mature plants plants are going to be you know growing for a number of years in um in that compost and uh, these bulbs um are going to be in that pot for for well, the last lot were in there for 10 years I, I don't see any reason why these lots shouldn't be in there for another another 10 years until i get the energy to dig them out and <laughs> divide them again so we've gone for number three uh, you can get a seed compost you can get number one number two and as you might have guessed that the seed compost and number one and number two are for either seeds or for younger plants. We've gone for this one, which has got a bit more fertilizer in it, which is what we want for uh, mature plants. You can also get um, John Innes ericaceous compost, which have a guess. Yeah, that's for ericaceous plants, lime hating uh, plants. So what we're gonna do first of all is get some of this um, John Innes number three tipped into that pot. I like, I like this compost because the soil gives it a kind of a, a structure and a body that you don't get from just organic um, materials. You can see that it has been mixed with organic material. Here in the UK, we've, we're just in the process of um, removing peat from any of our compost. So this will have had other organic materials other than peat mixed in with it. And I'm just gonna tip the whole lot in, uh, or at least most of it into here. So let's get that done. So I've tipped some in and I just, you know, call me sad, but I love to kind of get my hands into compost and just feel the texture. And I, I like the structure of a soil based um, compost. And so with the absence of peat based compost, I'm, I'm half inclined to, um, to use more of these John Innes um, soil based compost because a lot of the peat based, uh, sorry, the peat free compost that are, um, are becoming available uh, aren't always performing as well as um, and aren't as well structured as some of our old peat based compost. So I think that by adding some John Innes compost into some peat free compost, um, I'll get the best of both worlds. Now, I haven't filled this right up 
because I want to get the bulbs planted in before the compost is too deep. Now these have actually come with some extra root. If you're buying them from the shop, you wouldn't have as much root as that. But I like to plant my bulbs quite deep um, so that they're protected from the frost and from uh, animals such as squirrels that might like to dig them up. Um, so I'm just picking out some of the larger ones here and spacing them out before I finally plant them. Oh, there's a nice clump of three there together. Can you see his mother there and the kind of two little babies on the side? So I'm going to do those about there somewhere. a little clump that I'm gonna do just there rearrange them there like that so we've got one two three four five one two three four five six seven but some of them are actually in clumps there so we've got more like ten bulbs going in there which is more than I originally thought and uh, yeah so these are oriental lilies this is one called um, uh, garden party and um, the, uh, the flowers on this are just delightful. The perfume is to die for. Beautiful, rich perfume. And um, kind of white flowers with stripes of yellow and a hint of pink and bronze uh, in there. And um, they come into flower kind of July, August time, something like that in the UK. And I'm doing this in, uh, in January here uh, in South Wales and it's this time of year in the UK in the winter that you'll get the um, the lily bulbs coming into the garden centres and the nurseries so um, if you haven't got a pot full to dig out you could just go down to your local nursery and garden centre and look for their lilies lily bulbs and um, if you want the perfumed ones generally um, it's the oriental lilies which are perfumed you could look out for a garden party if you wanted to you could have a look at another one of my videos maybe I'll put a link to this at the end uh, where we highlight some of our favourite perfumed um, oriental uh, lilies. So, yeah, look out for that at the end of the um, the video, and I'll put it in the description as well, so that I'll give you some idea of some of the other varieties of, of, of um, glorious uh, lilies for, for pots and for borders. They are very hardy. These have been outside, well, um, for 10 years or more. They've had temperatures as, as low as minus 8 centigrade, uh, maybe colder. Um, They've been a bit protected because I planted them deep in the pot, but I haven't protected them. I haven't put them into a greenhouse. I haven't, I haven't wrapped them in anything. I've just left them in the pot deep in the compost and they come back bigger and stronger every year. And they must have been happy because they've been, they've been making babies. So let's get them planted. So we just kind of make a hole in that compost and drop them in with the pointy end up. Try and spread the roots a little bit out where you've got them. If you're bending over it and you know, aches and pains and you want to have a little grunt and a groan, no problem. I always find a little grunt and groan um, helps. <laughs> uh, um, I hope you guys know when I'm being serious and when I'm not being serious. Um, I'm not for one minute suggesting that grunting and groaning will really help, but uh, I'm just making excuses for why I do it. Um, so... This compost, this loose compost uh, here, will sink down. So I'm going to slightly overfill at this stage because, given the, uh, the kind of the weather, the, the rain, and so on, it will it will sink down. So there we go. We've got them in, and I think I'm going to tip a little bit more. Well, actually, I'm going to put. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some of this now. This organic, peat-free um, compost. Um, which, which has actually got a little bit of John Innes mixed in with it already, but I wanted to go heavy on the John Innes. So I'm going to tip some of that in, and I'm going to tip some more of that in and mix the two together on the top, and let's see how that looks when I'm finished. There we go. You can see that that compost level is quite high in the pot, and we've mixed some of the John Innes and some of the uh, multi-purpose together there. I've done it quite high purposely because it's going to sink down. So it's going to end up being kind of somewhere like that sort of depth all the way around, which means that we've got room to kind of get some water in there in the, in the summer. 
but if I did it that high to start, it would be it would be lower again by the time we got you know um, uh, kind of six months in. So uh, I'm just allowing for the fact that compost will sink. Uh, as I was kind of tidying up, I came across <laughs> I came across this bad boy. So I'm just going to put another one in uh, back here. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, there we are. So we've probably got more like 12, 11 or 12 nice big bulbs in there. And that's really all there is to it. Um, the only thing that you probably need to do is to have a little bit of a sweep up. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. No need to water it this time of the year. Uh, we're in January. Um, nature will provide, um, I'm sure, within the next couple of weeks. And because they're dormant and that compost is quite moist underneath, they don't need any water at the moment. Um, in fact, if we've got any cold weather, it might not, be, not, not, might not be very good if they had lots of water around because the water would freeze and make ice, which, you know, would not be good. So yeah, that's, that's it, that's what we do. That's how we plant up our pot of, of lilies. We do it when they're dormant in the middle of the winter. And um, we'd love to hear if you've given this a go and if you have, how is it working out? Um, what varieties are you growing? Are you getting a nice perfume? Have you tried digging them out? How many bulbs have you managed to dig, dig out of a pot? Um, let's stay in touch. We really enjoy hearing from you with your comments and questions. Thanks for watching, bye.